106.7 Minster FM right the way through till 8 o'clock tonight. 15 fantastic tracks from the charts. I do hope you've got your fingers all loosened up and ready to get dialing after 8 o'clock. Don't forget the phone number 01904481234. I've got the final fab meal at the Ginna restaurant to give away after 8 o'clock. That's up for grabs. Also, I'm looking for a Venwasian and a Martian. Now, that's a, a male and a female in Earthspeak. We're going to be playing Mars versus Venus between 8 and 9 o'clock. And then, of course, after 9 o'clock, it's the jukebox. The lines are open for your dedication. And then we continue to slow down between 10 and 11 with my nightcap. Music like this from Robbie Williams. And I know a place where we've got a lot of uh, romantic blokes, I think, in Yorkshire. Hello there. Hello. Hello, John. A bit of a party going on. Yep. Oh, let's hear that. Robbie Williams, she's the one. After three. 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 Uh, they've disappeared. You've We've disappeared. Gone. John, you've gone. You're having a party John's down there. there. Yeah. Okay, you're going out tonight? Yep. And you're listening to Minster FM while you get ready to go out? Yeah. And um, are you all a little bit crazy? We are. You are. How We're crazy, crazy are you? How crazy are you? Absolutely mentally crazy. Okay, let's hear you go totally mental. <laughs> Here's Britney Spears for you. Excellent classic there from Tina Turner on 104.7 Minster FM. And um, talking about classics or not classics, there's a band out at the moment that I don't think are going to be a classic at all, but you never know. And if you've not heard about them this week, where have you been? The latest band has come off a building site and their name is Builder's Bum. Right, the new single is out this October and as I said, all of these guys are off a building site and basically their band is a tribute to the Wurzels band and uh, if you're old enough, and um, it's only because I've heard about it, you might remember their song about a combine harvester. Anyway, they're seen as the replacement for the Spice Girls because we've got Flash Cheek, Hairy Cheek, Big Cheek, Ginger Cheek and Sparky Cheek. And there's a Six Cheek member as well which goes by a very obvious cheek expression which um, I'm sure you can guess, but I can't broadcast. Anyway, song out in October. I bet it's a double A side. He was born on a okay, well, you're our Martian for tonight, Chris. Right. Okay, and um, what do you think you know about gender differences? Do you think you're fairly well up on uh, what women are like and what guys are like? Just a bit, not just a lot. A, just a bit, not a lot. Yeah. You're kind of sitting on the fence there. Yeah. All right, okay. Well, you've heard these questions before, so you've had a little bit of a... Uh, Cheat, I suppose, because you've heard no, them, but you don't really, know the no, answers. I've been, no, I've been watching Brookside. Oh, well, you're not meant to say that. Hey? Watching it but listening to us, yeah. is that right? What, do I, what do I look like tonight then, Chris? Ooh, I don't know. You don't <laughs> I, know? I, I won't say it on the radio. <laughs> All right, but it's, it's obviously easy on the eye, whatever you're looking yeah. at. Yeah. Okay, All number right. one then. Who needs more protein? Is it men or women? Women. You reckon women? Yeah. Okay. Why is that? I just, uh, well, having babies and all that, innit? <laughs> they need sort of more, more good stuff, <laughs> yeah, that kind really of thing. <laughs> They've got to keep them healthy, <laughs> is that it. right? Yeah. Okay, now then, you've got a man and a woman, who's most likely to lose weight if they exercise, but they don't change their diet? Yeah, I think that'll be women as well. You think that'll be women as mm, well? My wife's looking back at me here. Is she? <laughs> <laughs> She's jogging on the spot as you speak. Hello. Can we give her a big hello? Yeah. What's her name? Angela. Hiya, Angela. Hiya. Hello. <laughs> Are you jogging there and testing the theory? Are you jogging? No, she's, no, she's not. You don't want to be, yeah, good. You don't want to be jogging on a Friday night. Last <laughs> thing you want to do. Okay, so you reckon it's women with yeah. that one, Chris? Yeah. Okay, number three. Who loves big words the most? Is it men or women? Fellas. You reckon it's the guys? Yeah. Okay. And uh, who speaks two to four thousand words per day? Is it men or women? Now, I hope you count every single day, Chris. <laughs> I you try. Know, you try. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why you get more words on the end, you know, because yeah. you're sort of getting frustrated. I'll go for women for that one. You go for women for yeah. that one. Okay. You think two to four thousand words sounds like quite a lot. Yeah. So you don't reckon that would be a guy? <laughs> no, definitely not. Okay. All right. And finally, who's most likely to choose red rather than blue? 
Women for that one as well. Women for that one as well. Red for danger, innit? Red for danger. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why the cheese. I thought it was red for love, Chris, actually. Oh, there you are, then. All right, I'm just helping you be romantic here, you know, because it is a Friday night. Yeah, and true. the clocks are going back and the nights are drawing in I and, uh, and your wife's listening. I know. <laughs> in which case, how about uh, sending a big sloppy kiss? You reckon? Go on, then. Go on, then. No, oh, you're going to do it, not me. All right. Have you brushed your teeth? Yeah. Good. Mm. There we go. All right. That's especially for Angela. Chris, I'm not yep. going to give you your score, right. but after nine o'clock, you'll find out who's actually won. Right. All right? Yep. So uh, keep listening, and you could be in with a chance of winning that 911 album. All okay. right? Okay. Thank you. Six minutes away from the Pepsi Network chart show. And um, great track to take us up to that from a lady that was on the TV last night. Talking about television, did you know there's a new medical condition now called remote control rage? And uh, what's more, it can spark post-TV stress syndrome. This is absolutely true. If you think you're suffering from it, you know, like right now... Then take a few deep breaths and just listen to this. Dr. David Lewis says, A stressed person may want to relax with a certain TV show, but when someone else has control of the button, remote rage can follow. Remote rage. I suppose it's uh, possibly safer than close rage, isn't it? Anyway, it mostly affects people aged 25 to 34, and get this, 6 out of 10 are women. I wonder why. <laughs> Here's that fantastic lady that was on the TV last night, Tina Turner. Don't tell me what it was like, because uh, I haven't seen it yet. I've got it on the video. Big question is, is she 60 or 61? I don't know. Danny Wilson with Mary's Prayer on 104.7 Minster FM. And I've got Kevin on the line. And um, he just he doesn't believe that I've been a good girl while I've been on holiday. All I've been doing is dancing around, Kevin. Yeah. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Two like, weeks of dancing. Absolutely. And then singing away, you know, and swallowing water at the water parks, which is why I think I ended up with this bad throat. And that mm. is the truth. Right, yes. You haven't got any germs, then? Absolutely not, but no. you're safe from me. That's why they put me in a little isolation, isolated room on my own, you see, yep. so you can't catch any germs at all. Mm -hmm. That's right. But you know what, Kevin? What? I absolutely love you, you know. Mm. Now, you see, I told you I'd been dancing. Yeah. What do you think of this, then? What is this? It's you. You know who it is. It's Turkish Tamara. Oh, or Tamara. 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 Something like that, Tamara, yeah. Tamara, Tamara. I think your dancing's very, very good. Thanks very much. Now, you see, why is it that when you come home, you think, why on earth did I buy something like that? How much did you pay for this <laughs> next few dos? I don't know. I'm going to wait till the visa bill comes through. Travel update. Let's do something sensible, hey? Yes, I think that's probably a wise, a wise move after that. It's still looking okay as you travel in your... Now, everything seems to have uh, eased off now in the way of water. Uh, it seems uh, like a bit more of a dry day across North Yorkshire. Still some showers as well. I'm drifting into the weather forecast here. What's going on? <laughs> go um, ahead, no go ahead. On, no problems on the A1. That's running well in both. Line 0800 919 855. That's the latest travel news on 104.7 Minster FM. The next update in an hour. You're very good at traffic and travel, but you know, I think you might make a really good weather girl too. La 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 la. <laughs> 104.7 Howard Jones on 104.7 Minster FM. This is just being with you Sunday afternoon. I do hope you're enjoying the show. And I know, kids, that school is out just about, but I want to say congratulations and well done to all the kids at Oakland School who used polo mints to build a three-foot model of York Minster, which is now on display at Nestle Roundtree's headquarters in the city. Wayne Sleeth, I believe, is the art teacher who set up the whole project. And I want to know, if you're listening, Mr Sleeth, if there's a chance that polo mints were used for the cathedral because they're so holy, do you think if we supplied you guys with endless cream cakes here at Minster FM, you could use them to build a model of us? Because, you know, sometimes we are a bit naughty, but we're very nice. Here's the police. 
Magic Box on 104.7 Minster FM. If you've just joined us, welcome along. Where have you been? We're taking all your requests at the moment. And um, I've got Jason on the line. Hi there, Jason. Hiya. Hello. Hiya. And uh, yeah, I'm finding that we've got quite a few things in common, Jason. <laughs> because uh, isn't that right that you won the York Dungeon tickets on my show on Sunday afternoon? Yeah, on, uh, on Halloween, was it? Yeah. That was right, on Halloween, yeah. So, uh, uh, how did you find it? It was uh, it was okay. I was a bit scared, though, because I didn't know what was happening. I've never <laughs> been before, so... <laughs> what happens, then, when you go in? Is it, uh, is it a little bit... Uh, is it all dark? Yeah, uh, it's, it's not really dark. Mm. It's more like a museum. There's just people that, you know, scare you. Mm-hmm. You know, sort of like, like actors, so, you know... Uh-huh, but it was just the thing for Halloween. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed that. And yeah. um, I've just been here, basically, tonight for you, is you're chilling out. You're in year 10, aren't you? Yeah. Year and 10. Uh, that makes you 15, which is uh, just, my, just my age. <laughs> Jason, just my age. So, uh, yeah. is there anyone you want to say hello to at Oakland School at the moment? Uh, can I can just say hello to everybody in 10 SA. 10... SC. SC, absolutely, yeah. you've just done it. And um, <laughs> can I say hello to someone at Oakland School? Yeah. It's, uh, Miss, it's Mr. Sleeth, isn't it? Mr. Sleeth, is it? Who's, no. the, who's the man that helped you build a model of York Minster out of polo mints? Uh, it's called Wayne, I think. Oh, is that Wayne? Yeah, oh, Wayne. That was it. Now, you took part in that, didn't you? Yeah, I was involved for a few weeks, yeah. Ah, so they got the... Po- oh, I see. <laughs> so you were eating the polo mints. Yeah. So did you did you miss a, a little bit of the steeple or something because there wasn't enough polo mints left? Yeah. <laughs> well, you see, I don't know why you didn't give me a call because when that was going on a few months ago, I put a request out and I wanted to know whether uh, if we got you, gave you lots of uh, chocolate eclairs, you might uh, build a model of us at Minster FM, you see. Huh? Based on the fact that we are very, very naughty, but we're also very nice. And you see, nobody gave us a call, but um, here you are now, you're on the phone, and yep. um, you're wanting a particular track, aren't you? Yeah, uh, Mel C. Mel C. Um, Why do you like Mel C? I just think she's got a good voice. You think she's got a good yeah. voice? Good body as well? Uh, I'm saying no. <laughs> you're saying nothing at yeah. all. Okay. <laughs> well, you, I'm going to give control over to you now. Like a yeah. true DJ, off you go. You can introduce her. I've, uh, this is 104.7 Minister FM. Here's Mel C and Northern Star. Woo! What a star! Thanks, Jason. Uh, thanks, bye. Yeah, bye. Now, um, I was saying earlier on about uh, the new makeup for guys, wasn't I? What do you think of makeup for guys? Yeah, a bit of eyeliner, a bit of concealer, just to make you look a little bit better. Well, my opinion of it is that a little bit's okay if you can't see it. I'll let you guys have a little bit of vanity. But I do draw the line at nail varnish because that's the latest trend for guys. And it seems that Jamie Feakston and Rod Stewart are fans of nail varnish. Now, all I can say is, uh, Jamie, just because the bottle contain- says it contains hardener, it's not going to help you in that department, you know. And Rod, Rod, darling, I do not think it makes you look sexy. Stay with me, but you're Bobby Brown and two can play that game. No excuse for wearing nail varnish, though, guys. Sorry, draw the line at that one. Another new fashion trend at the moment, I was just saying last week, um, for guys in Ibiza is uh, sarongs. And also for girls, bandages on the ankles. Something about protecting your ankles when you're dancing on your high heels. But uh, the new fashion trend here has been set by Kate Moss because she was out in London the other night and um, she was wearing flip-flops. You know, I thought you'd go for flatties to stop yourself tripping up. Hello, Line 29. Hello there. Hello? <gasps> Hello. Is that someone on Line 29? Yes, yes. Shoop, shooping about. <laughs> and why are you ringing me? For the Cher song. For the Cher yeah. song? Yeah. Are you a bit of a fan of Cher? She's alright, isn't she? Yeah. She's not bad at all, is she? No. She's pretty good. And um compilation album for you from Minster FM? That would be very nice, thank you very much. Well you've got to answer one question oh, first. Right. Well, two questions actually. Right. Did you turn your clock back? Oh yes, I did, yes. You, yes. you did. Uh- 104.7 Minster FM, a winning weekend. And we've got an absolute star on the line. Is that Jean? Yes, yes. Jean. You're fairly ecstatic, aren't you, about winning this album? Ah, uh, well, please. Yeah, she's a really good chair. Yeah. She is. She's absolutely fantastic. What do the rest of the family think? Oh, yeah, they're well pleased. Uh-huh. 
Oh, that's the little one trying to butt in with something. Yeah. He's trying to butt in, is he? Yeah. What's he doing? What's he doing tonight? Is he um, oh, trick or treating? Trick or treating. Really? So yeah. that still goes on, does it? Well, it does in our street. Yeah. Oh, you're tempting me. What's his name? Joe. Joe. Joe, are you there on the line? Yeah. You are, Joe. Tell everybody that you want lots of treats tonight and you don't want any tricks. I want lots of treats. <laughs> and which area is this in Huntingdon in your? Yes, it is, yeah. Get the chocolate out, everybody in Huntingdon. Thanks, Jean. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks a lot. lot. Bye. Everybody's Bye. looking for that something. On your door. Will 2K from Will Smith. Original. 104.7 Minster FM. Just in with you now till four o'clock. And um, I've got all the gen on what's going on in the area at the moment. There's no business like show business, or that kind of thing. If you don't believe me, check out Circus Hilarious at the Grand Opera House. If you love to laugh and you really can't afford to miss this night of slapstick fun, and it's on Saturday the 20th of November. Also at the uh, Grand Opera House in York is Willie Russell's brilliant award-winning musical Blood Brothers. That arrives in York on the 6th of December. It runs right through to the 11th of December. And uh, if you don't know the story, it's about two twins separated at birth, unaware of the other's existence until fate throws them together. It's a real must, and it stars Bernie Nolan. And finally, calling all tractor drivers. The Rillington and District Young Farmers have rescheduled their annual ploughing match at Napton to Sunday the 12th of December. So uh, if you were going to be involved in that, stick it in your diary, won't you? If you want any more ideas for what's going on in and around Yorkshire, why not pick up a copy of the York Free Guide, which is published by the Evening Press? Okay, if you've been waiting on tender hooks to uh, hear about uh, Nicole Kidman's knickers, then uh, here you go. I know it's uh, Sunday, but um, I don't know if you've noticed that bit by bit, religion is definitely being modernised. They're trying to make it a bit more trendy and chic by the sounds of this. In London, a pair of white knickers worn by Nicole Kidman in that steamy movie Eyes Wide Shut that uh, her and her hubby Tom Cruise are in were sold at a church auction for just £60. And that £60 has been used to mend the roof. You know, I'd have thought they'd gone for a little bit more than that, wouldn't they? You know, I bet they cost more than that to buy in the first place. And um, so they should have done as well. Should have sold for much more than that considering where they'd been. I bet Nicole Kidman's bottom's really insulted. Here's Cheryl Crow. On the, min <laughs> on the Minster Sorry. FM travel line. No, that's all right. 0800 919 855. That's the latest travel news on 104.7 Minster FM. The next update is courtesy of Little Mike Nicholson with Richard and Helen on the breakfast show tomorrow morning. At mm, much more seven. sensible people yeah. than us, aren't they? Oh, mm. well, we don't mind. Well, spot a problem on the roads or spot a problem on the sand dunes. That's what I had when I was away. Mm. Mm. Well, you know the little Twingo? that um, is around at the moment. There's a lot of them in foreign countries, and I didn't think they were over here, but I did see someone driving one the other day. Explain. They're fantastic little cars. Little and cars? Yeah, little it? tiny cars. Absolutely brilliant. You can get them with pull-back roofs when you go I've abroad. i got to say, I don't think I've seen them. Yeah, well, I've been whizzing along the uh, coast in the Algarve in one yeah. of those, and um, right. my sister and I decided um, on my birthday that we were going to, because the sun disappeared, we thought we'd mm. go and do a bit of, you know, proper sightseeing, and we found these salt lakes, and uh, they were quite exciting, and mm. we sort of, you know, they looked like big snow mountains, so we went down in the car, as, as girls do, you know, yeah. inquisitive. Yeah. having a look and then yeah. we thought all oh, right it's getting a bit dark now and you wanted to go out for my birthday so we thought well we'll just set off and go straight across towards that concrete road we can see in the distance right. and we we're on a pretty good road and that was yeah. fine so there we were very jolly driving along all of a sudden hit this enormous patch of sand and yeah. uh, next thing I knew there I was on my 28th birthday sinking into the sand in the Algarve with a golf course on one side of me but feeling like I was in the desert or something so um I'm pretty proud of the fact that uh, the park ranger had to uh, rescue me that day. It's so very, very was, good, he, yeah. He was there and he saved the day. Oh, like we had a good, good ride in the jeep, shouting, yabba dabba do. But I think that's more information than you required. So, so that's why your voice is gone. Absolutely, yes. So now we know. <laughs> well, <laughs> what you. a story. It's fantastic, isn't yeah. it? You had to be there, really. Yeah. Anyway, thank well, you, Kevin. I, it would have been nice for you to have invited me, but, you know, you know it <laughs> no. didn't happen. The invitation oh. wasn't forthcoming. Next time, dear. Yes. OK. We'll see you next week. OK. OK, bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> But we are on 104.7 Minster FM this afternoon. Delirious with Dee from before that, Supergrass and 
songs moving. I'm really being educated with all these new songs around at the moment. It's just been with you right through till four o'clock when we hit the Pepsi Network chart show. And uh, as I promised, before four o'clock, a little bit on flirting etiquette and a little bit on the new rules in Europe as well. But uh, this has just caught my eye here. And um, if you know any guys that are into brewing their own beer, girls, just, you know, take it steady and watch out for them. Because uh, there's quite a lot of guys in this building and I'm getting a bit worried here because it says that the smell of hops in a brewery in London is making women workers fall for guys. You know, I must be really, really weird or something like that. You know, because I can't say Boddington's breath has ever done it for me. Here's Delamitri and um, kiss this thing goodbye. Four minutes to four o'clock on Minster FM. That's just about it from me, but... Um, <laughs> I want to finish on this because I've noticed that um, because the millennium's coming along, we're getting the whatever of the millennium all the time. I think we're going to have, you know, the vegetable of the millennium, the item of clothing of the millennium. And it's going to get a little bit boring, but um, if you've got a clever dog, get this. There's a disabled Gulf War veteran dog called Endel who's just won the title Dog of the Millennium. And the reason for him winning it is because he goes shopping and uh, he opens drawers and he can also get cash out of cash machines. And he even lifts up loose seats as well. The mind boggles. It's nearly a fully-fledged bloke, isn't he? You know, apart from the shopping bit. And um, I'm just wondering if, since he can open drawers, he can actually shut them as well. Here's Phil Collins, News on the Way at Four. It's 104.7 Minster FM's jukebox between 9 and 10 on a Friday night. And I've got Samantha on the line, haven't I? Yes, that's right, Justin. <laughs> it is. Samantha, you've got me to get this track out and uh, it's got pictures of hamsters all over the front. Is it, is it hamster a hamster? <laughs> I'm trying to work it out myself. Cuban boys. Yes. Cuban that's boys. Right. And it's the hamster dance. Mm, the hamster dance, yeah, and there's like definitely the a picture of a hamster, absolutely. So We've you've, got a hamster. You, oh, you've well. got a hamster, so uh, I'll tell you what then, put the radio next to the cage where the hamster is. Is he, is he on his wheel at the moment? Um, no, I'm actually in Harrogate at the moment, that's where I'm living, but I'm on from Bolton and the hamster's in Bolton. Oh, right, so you're in Harrogate, hamster's yeah. in Bolton. Well, uh, we do have a big reach on a night, you know, but I don't know if we'll reach Bolton tonight, but uh, no. I guess that... <laughs> I this, can't get you in Bolton. Oh, Oh, well, you're over here now, and you can get hold of us now, Samantha. But uh, any particular reason for this, then, apart from the fact that you've got a hamster? I just think it's a really good track. You think it's a really, really good track? And it's funny. All oh, right, OK. It's funny the way she sings it. I don't know who sings it, but it's funny. Well, I think we've teased the listeners enough, haven't we, Samantha? Let's, uh, should we give it a go? Yeah. OK, put your finger forward and press that imaginary red button for me. What do you mean? Which one? This one. <laughs> well done. Hey, thank you. Always a good idea, I think, um, if a pop band wants their track to be played on the radio to uh, mention something about the radio or about the people on the radio. Brilliant track, anyway, from the cause. And um, if you've got loads of dosh and you fancy getting someone a really up-to-date Christmas present, here's a couple of ideas for you, as I promised. Britain's biggest TV is here. Three and a half thousand pounds. It'll set you back, and it's uh, five foot wide. Just imagine that in your front room. It'll be uh, like them watching you rather than you watching them. And uh, also, video phone is on the way. And uh, actually, you've got to wait for the spring for this one, so that would be a late Christmas present. But I can't believe it's here. It's a bit of a worry if you ring in sick for work and uh, you're not really that bad, because, of course, the boss can see you. thing is, if you've got plenty of money for that, it's going to set you back 500 quid. Now, video phones. I know everybody's into mobile phones, but I'm not so convinced that these are going to take off. I mean, you know, you're not going to be able to use it while you drive, are you? And I'd be suspicious of any mobile phone salesman that uh, tries to sell you an ice free kit. I'm just very glad no one's tried video radio yet. I wouldn't know uh, which one of you to look at. Here's REM on 104.7 Minster FM. 104.7 Minster FM, and you know, I do like happy stories, especially on a Friday night when it's getting a little bit late. Rob and Susan, you there on the line? Yeah, hi Hello. Justine. Hello, hi, how are you tonight? Very well indeed. And how's Doncaster? It's uh, <laughs> full of fireworks. <laughs> full of fireworks that have all gone dead. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> is it pouring down there? It is, yeah. Oh, it doesn't sound very nice on the roads tonight, actually. It's so not. One of those nights for taking it steady if you're driving. True, that is well, really true. Well, you made my night a few weeks ago because uh, you two decided to get married on my show, didn't you? We did, yes. Mm -hmm. And it was Susan that put out the request. It was, and it was uh -huh. a surprise to me. Uh huh. <laughs> and it was you that accepted as well. I did, yes. And uh, you gave me a call back earlier because uh, you're doing a bit of planning at the moment for the wedding. We are. We've got it all. Everything's all sorted now. Mm -hmm. um, the wedding's taking place on the Friday, the 19th of November at 10 o'clock. Excellent. So where's that going to be held? It's going to be at the Zion New Testament Church in Doncaster. Lovely. So uh, have you got your frock sorted out, Rob? I have, yes. Yeah, I've, I've got, got your frock. I've got a lovely white wedding dress. <laughs> right. And, and, and Su Su Susan's wearing a nice... Um, Grey suit with a shirt and tie. Oh, to match. fantastic! Yeah, and now that's a temptation to come along and see, isn't it? Although, all it, there is one question I'd like to ask you, Justine. Oh yes. Do you know of a good manicure at all? <laughs> do I know of a good manicure? Yeah. If I do, I uh, I obviously haven't been using my own advice at the moment. <laughs> I'm very glad you can't see my nails tonight. I've been in London actually a week, and I must say, it's um, right, I'm going to say this. I'm on the radio, but I'm going to tell everybody, and, and anybody who wants to disagree can. Give me a call. But when you blow your nose and you come back from London, it's not the same as when you blow your nose and you haven't been to London. If you've got a good filter system like me. So basically, my nails are fairly grotty tonight, but I don't know about a manicurist, no. So uh, do, you want, do you want to put a call out to the um, listeners? Oh, that would be nice. If anybody knows of a manicurist, then could the police contact could the police contact Justine so she can let me know? That's right, because, you know, Rob, you are going to have to get those nails done, aren't you? I know. <laughs> I know. Well, look, congratulations to the two of you. Thank you, Justine. Okay, and uh, here's that famous record that got you to agree to marry her, yeah? Thank you, Justine. All right. You Have take a, care. You too. Have Thank a lovely you. time, won't you? It certainly will, and All I'll right. bring you some wedding cake. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Every night in my dreams. Rolling Stones, and of course, Mr. Mick Jagger on Halloween on 104.7. Minster FM, no connection there, I promise. Something that's uh, always struck me about this kind of time of year is that uh, if you own a fruit and veg shop, it's probably one of your chances in the year where you can get kids to come in and buy a turnip or a pumpkin without having to flog them the nutritional value. Now, uh, I've got a question for you. If anyone owns a fruit and veg shop, how much extra dosh do you make at Halloween? I'd love to hear from you. 01904 48 1234. The reason I'm asking is because uh, my heart did go out to a fruit and veg shop owner that I read about uh, just yesterday. He's in West Yorkshire and um, he's had a really horrible experience. He's had £130 nicked from his till earlier this week. And um, that was pretty bad. But the worst thing was it actually was nicked by a criminal who was female but also she had whiskers ladies and gentlemen this is mumble number five now we've just had a report in that bugs bunny's wife's on the suspect list and um it sounds like she got a bit angry when she found there wasn't 18 carrots available so she took the cash instead here's mr baker one two three four five Congratulations to that first set of winners all on their way down to the York Dungeon this evening, courtesy of Minster FM. Another chance to win a family pass before four o'clock this afternoon. Get yourself down there between five and nine if you're on the guest list, those winners. The tour takes from 45 minutes to an hour. I hope you come back. Happy birthday to you if it's your birthday today. Um, quite a day to be born on, really, isn't it? 31st of October. I was uh, quite interested to see that Sir Jimmy Savile is 73 today. And I'm not going to make any more comment on it. If there is anything in the air today, um, it's interesting to see what was happening. In 1961, the Cindy doll was launched in the UK. There's a bit of confidence there for you, isn't there? We're launching that on Halloween. Also, it was 1984 when Nightmare on Elm Street received its premiere in the US. That's been around for ages, that film. Also, sadly, on this day, six years ago, it was Halloween when actor River Phoenix died, aged 23, when he collapsed outside the Viper Room Club. And um, also, it was interesting to see that, um, and this is a, a little bit of uh, trivia, really, but uh, this was the day, 48 years ago, when Zebra Crossings came into effect in Britain. I wonder if it uh, hadn't been Halloween that have been multicoloured. We've had some nice bright roads, wouldn't we? Definitely one of the most beautiful.
Beatles songs around at the moment from Gabrielle. Check the Pepsi Network Chart Child at four to see where that one is. And um, it is Halloween, and it's Sir Isaac Newton, I've found, named seven colours in the spectrum on this day. But indigo is actually not very distinguishable as a separate colour, and even our orange is doubtful as well. Now, Newton included them because uh, seven was his favourite number, which is uh, fair enough, but I'm just wondering whether he saw something on the 31st of October that we didn't. Thanks for choosing us this afternoon. It's 104.7 Minster FM. Here's Brian Adams. That's like the icing on the icing, isn't it, from John Cicada. I don't know what that reminds you of, but it reminds me of sitting in an airport with this sort of really hot breeze in the Caribbean sort of whisking over me. What a thought for a uh, bonfire night, eh? Hey? A little bit wet, a little bit cold out there. Hope you're uh, enjoying staying in and listening to Minster FM. If you're driving, take care tonight. There's a lot of water on the roads. Here's that man that's always wishing. The man with the very, very best teeth I've ever seen. Always makes me think of my gran when I play him because uh, she likes my smile. She always says to me, oh, what big teeth you've got, Justine. To which I always reply, all the better to eat you with, grandmama. You can tell where I get it from, can't you? It's in the genes. Here's share and believe. I'm so glad we made it. Look how far. We've come, my baby. Shania Twain on Minster FM. That's about it from me for Sunday afternoon. I'll see you next week from one o'clock. Stand by for the Pepsi Network chart show at four.